Conservative Senator Kirsten Cinema seems to get some sort of rise out of trolling the very people who helped to get her elected into the Senate in the first place. In the meantime, seniors are wondering, is there ever gonna be a day where Medicare will allow us to maybe get our teeth checked out here and then? That at some point? And so what's fascinating is just like how much she's dismissive of the criticism toward her for attempting to defeat the budget reconciliation bill, which would provide all sorts of social safety net programs that are wildly popular among Americans. And she had this exchange with a reporter that I think is worth taking a look at. Let's watch. What do you say about progressives that are frustrated that they don't know where you are? So she gives all these wise ass answers to reporters. For instance, when the reporter asked, what do you say to progressives who are frustrated? They don't know where you are, meaning you're against the reconciliation bill, but they don't know why. Like, can you engage in the negotiations and let them know what you'd like to change? She just responds with, I'm in the Senate. There are progressives in the Senate that are also frustrated, they don't know where you're, uh, where you are either. And she's like, I'm clearly right in front of the elevator. <laughs> wow, so clever, so clever. Yeah. Look, I, she thinks it's fun and games. We're talking about people's lives, okay? We're talking about families who desperately need support. We're talking about universal pre-K. We're talking about an expansion of Medicare to not only lower the Medicare eligibility age, but to include coverage for hearing, dental, vision, you know, parts of the human body that for some reason are not already included in Medicare. We're talking about permanent child tax credits. I mean, it, it, the list goes on and on, mandatory paid family leave. So when a family has a baby, they can actually spend a little bit of time for the woman to recover and for the father to spend time with the newborn. I mean, these are things that are already offered in developed countries. It's the United States, the only developed country in the in the world that doesn't offer these things. And Kirsten Cinema, who's good? She's doing well. She's not worried about these programs because they wouldn't benefit her life. But they would benefit the lives of her constituents. She thinks it's all fun and games. Give these little wise ass answers, get in the elevator, give a cute little wave. It's not cute, it's not cute. So there are efforts already to, to find a progressive candidate, to challenge her. She's not up for reelection for several years, about three years specifically. But she needs to be voted out. The fact that she finds this amusing is just absolutely disgusting. So. She used to do these things all the time, but now she's getting caught. So of course, you remember the flamboyant thumbs down in some sort of designer outfit when she voted against the minimum wage increase. And so she has ads out in 2018 when she got was in reelection, especially in the primary, talking about oh healthcare, the, the drug prices. And she had a bunch of seniors around her. Oh my God, we've got to lower them. I'm going to fight for you on that. Now she j jokes around about how, no, she's not going to lower the drug price at all. She works for the drug companies. She got $750,000 from them and she works for them, right? Yep. And she used to do all of that and get away with it. So she would, and the press would say, oh, the colorful cinema because of her outfits and the et cetera. And then they would say, Oh, and in fact, they just said a couple of weeks ago, we covered it on the show. Oh, she's got an accountant like focus on spreadsheets and all this fluffery, right? Now, when she's getting called out, she's shocked. She doesn't know what's going on. So she's like, I'm by the elevator. He's like, no, I was asking you a serious question because progressives in the Senate want to know where your positions are. <laughs> I'm in the Senate. Why? Is it not working? Is my cuteness not working? No. Well, you're not cute. Uh, it's when you take the, the bribes and you screw the rest of us over, it's decidedly not cute. So she's shocked that the refs are calling fouls. Yes. So for all this time, you know, it's like the it Jordan versus the Pistons, right? Absolutely. Jo Jordan's the best Definitely. player, but the Pistons would come in and hammer him and the refs wouldn't call any fouls. And now when it, the media is saying, foul, you actually should tell people what your policy position is. She's like, <gasps> what I used to just. Screw them over in the middle of the night, and you guys would cover for me. What the hell's going on? It's a whole new world. No, can I just? Can I, I see it a little differently than you mm -hmm. do, right? Because Mansion 
who was recently asked about his corruption got angry mm -hmm. because he's not used to it. So he got triggered by that line of questioning. Cinema seems to enjoy, like she almost seems to relish the hatred that's directed toward her after she votes down a $15 an hour minimum wage. She thinks it's funny, right? Like it, mm, she's like nope. the troll of the Senate, like she's constantly trolling everyone. And I wanna also just note that recently she started deleting some of her older tweets. Oh, Maybe she does care. So I wanna to go to this tweet from 2011 that she deleted. I mean, look, it's hard to wipe your record of things. Mm -hmm. So she had written, asking big corporations and the rich to pay their fair share is common sense, not class warfare. Now think about that, she deleted that mm -hmm. tweet because mm -hmm. she now wants to support corporations and the rich. Yep. That's an amazing tweet to delete. Like normally people delete like things that are like oh, racist or sexist from the past, Oh, I didn't mean it, I was 17. Mm -hmm. Etc. Right? Now she's like, "Oh my God, I was young and I thought uh, I wasn't yet bought off by the rich and corporations. I'm so sorry, corporate America." And she deletes that tweet. It's amazing, yeah. amazing admission. Okay, but Anna, the reason I know it's a funny little disagreement, but uh, I hear I have a prediction for you. Next time that a, somebody asks her a tough question, she's going to get angry because mm -hmm. she's playing it off. I can smell insecure people, right? Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, whatever. Like, oh, I'm, by, I'm in the Senate, I'm by the elevator. <laughs> and but next time they challenge her again, she's going to snap because she's she's not used to it at all. And but you, it's not that you're wrong. She's a Trumpian troll, right? She loved being a troll, but it had no downside. Now all of a sudden a bit of a downside. Now you remember she had that ring that says F off to her voters basically. And then she went and kissed corporate ass to collect more checks. Uh, didn't tell them to F off. And to me that ring was a Melania Trump like I don't really care about you. Okay, remember the I really don't care sh sh uh, jacket that Melania wore. So that's who uh, who Kristen Sinema is, she's a Melanian. Democrat, Melan they were Demo a Melanian Democrat. Yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. We'll see how she, uh, you know, handles herself moving forward.